Hey everybody, welcome back to Wrestling Race Reviews. Big Mike back again for another edition of This Day in Wrestling History. And the day is for July the 22nd. But before we get into this day in wrestling history, I'll let you know that the video has been made for the winners that were participated in the Money in the Bank Predictions Contest. Those winners have been chosen and they are going to be told to you guys in a little video a little later on. That's right, there's three winners, three people tied with four corrections correctly. And uh, I know I said it was going to be a way that I was going to that I was going to go about breaking the tie, but I'm going to go about it another way, so stay tuned. And it definitely made it worth your while, so we'll see what's going on there in that video a little bit later on. And to mention, I, was going to, I am going to be having another contest. It is going to be the SummerSlam Package Contest. It's going to be going away, obviously, at SummerSlam. So we're going to do another predictions for SummerSlam, etc. So stay tuned for that in the next week or so. Probably two weeks before we announce it. Um, you know, want to get some, need to get some things uh, together for SummerSlam, like matches, etc. So anyways, moving on to this day in wrestling history for July the 22nd. The events held in this day were in 2001, WWF Invasion was the first pay-per-view to feature the WCW ECW Invasion storyline. It was held in Cleveland, Ohio. And we see Earl Hebner defeat, defeat Nick Patrick with Mick Foley as special guest referee. RVD defeats Jeff Hardy to win the hardcore title. Trish Stratus and Lita defeat Tori Wilson and Stacey Keebler in a bra and panties match with Mick Foley as special guest referee once again. Then we see the Alliance in a 10-man tag team match. Or uh, the Alliance versus the WWF in a 10-man tag team match. The Alliance consisted of Booker T, DDP, Rhino, and the Devon Dudley and Bubba Ray Dudley. And they defeated the WWF, Steve Austin, Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, Undertaker, and Kane when Steve Austin defected during the match. Uh, in 2007, WWE's Great American Bash was held in San Jose, California. We see MVP defeat Matt Hardy to retain the WWE United States title. Hornswoggle wins the Cruiserweight Open match to bury the Cruiserweight division. Candice Michelle defeats Melina to win the WWE Women's title. Umanga, that's right, Umanga defeats Jeff Hardy to retain the Intercontinental title. John Morrison defeats CM Punk to retain the ECW title. You see the Great Khali defeat Kane and Matisse in a triple threat match to retain the World Heavyweight title. And also John Cena defeats Bobby Lashley to retain the WWE title. Moving on, title changes for this day in wrestling history, not to mention the ones previously. 1979, we see Mark Lewin defeat Bruiser Brody to win the Texas Brass Knuckles title. 1981, Bob Roop defeats Super Destroyer to win the Mid-South Wrestling Louisiana title. 1985, Butch Reed defeats Dutch Mantel to win the MSW Mid-South Wrestling television title. 1989, we see Jumbo Saruta and Yoshiaki Yatsu defeat Stan Hansen and Jinichiru Tenru to win the All Japan Pro Wrestling Unified tag team titles. 1995, Dick Slato and... Slato? <laughs> Dick Slato, also known as Dick Slater, and Bunkhouse Buck defeat uh, Harlem Heat, Booker T, and Stevie Ray to win the WCW Tag Team titles. 1997 on Nitro, the Ultimo Dragon defeats Lord Steven Regal to win the WCW Television title. 2002 on Raw, RVD, the whole effing show, defeats Jeff Hardy to unify the European title, an IC title, and the European title was retired. 2009, Mick Foley defeats Kevin Nash to win the TNA Legends title. Birthdays for today. Two birthdays. Well, we got ROH and former TNA star and Tough Enough wrestler. That's right. Kenny King did all three of those. He is currently doing one, obviously, in ROH as part of the All Night Express. Participated in TNA back in 2005, tagging up with Jay Lethal most, most of the time. Had a few with Lance Hoyt. You know, a Tough Enough season two. We made it to the final four. And also, WWE newest Hall of Famer, that's right, the iconic showstopper, Mr. WrestleMania himself, Shawn Michaels, turns 46 years old today. So happy birthday to those two people. If you're having a birthday in the YWC, happy birthday to you. Hopefully you have a great day and a great year to come. And uh, that's it for Wrestling Rants and Reviews. Um, also, one, one side note <laughs> for you haters, <laughs> keep on hating, you know, I, that's all I got to say. You know, you think? <laughs> I just, I love it. I caught your video last night. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, motherfucker. You know, that's some good shit. I'll never deny you're not, I'm not going to deny that you're not entertaining, motherfucker. You know, but to, to do it, <laughs> I obviously makes no sense, but keep doing it, man. Yeah. 
that's, that's, that promotion is better than no promotion, and that's it. That's all.